Today, we introduce a new ant species to our channel. Meet the laziest species with the best eyesight and fastest movement speed out of them all, Lazius emarginados, right after the intro. Hello and welcome to another Ants Vienna video everyone. If you're new to the channel, here we cover all aspects of ant keeping as a hobby. And today we'll do something we haven't done for a while. I will introduce you to a new ant species, Lazius emarginatus. Like in the other videos of this introduction series, this video will be jam-packed with information I gathered about this species online after many hours of research. So, you can decide if this ant species is the right choice for you or even help you in keeping it if you have found a queen this nuptial flight season. Make sure to leave this video a thumbs up to let me and the YouTube algorithm know you like my videos and, if it proves helpful to you, share it with other ant enthusiasts so it can help them out too. Without further ado, let's dive into the video. Habitat Lazius emarginatus can be natively found in Central and South Europe down to Caucasus, namely Georgia and Azerbaijan. They seek warmer places and nest in stones, stone piles, walls and ruins. Therefore, you can often find them in older segments of a city. Behavior Lazius emarginatus colonies are monogenous and will never adopt a new queen if the founding one dies. That means the colony will die with its initial queen. Speaking of queens, they are fully claustral, so the queen needs no feeding during the period she raises her initial generation of workers. In the wild, colonies seek and protect aphids, where they get a big portion of their food from, in form of nectar while also eating smaller insects like flies and leftovers in houses. Emarginatus ant colonies hibernate during the period from October to March. In captivity, you have to lower the temperature you keep them to 8 degrees Celsius and stop providing them food while making sure they stay hydrated. Their nuptial flights occur massively after dusk at night, within July and August. Since they love stone, they often live in houses and may also have nuptial flights indoors. The looks Workers of this species are monomorph, so there is no substantial size difference between workers. They range between 2.5 to 4 mm in length. Their head and gaster is dark brown, while their mesosoma has an orange-red to dark red color. Queens are beefy, massive in contrast to the workers and also somewhat bigger than Lazius niger queens, up to 10 mm in length. Their heads are dark while their mesosoma and gaster are brownish, with their mesosoma also having a characteristic slightly red pattern. The males, also called drones, are all glossy black and around 4 mm long. Why Lazius emarginatus? 
Why would you want to keep Lazius Emarginatus as an antkeeper instead of Lazius Niger or Lazius Flavus? Remember when I told you that Lazius Flavus are almost blind in their introduction video? Exactly the opposite is true for Lazius Emarginatus. Out of all Lazius species, Emarginatus possess the best eyesight and optical orientation which in turn provides them the fastest movement speed and recruiting among their peers. After each hibernation period, the colony's territorium needs to be renewed by marking its borders. Therefore, Lazius emarginatus are a very dominant and aggressive ant species, one of the few that successfully defend their ground against another very popular territorial species, Lazius niger. They also form long ant roads to food sources. I myself have seen wild colonies in my neighborhood form as far as 100 meter long roads to find food. Keeping conditions. This species is qualified for beginners of the hobby. Like many other lazy species, Emarginatus don't have many special needs to speak of if you want to get started with them. Average room temperature and medium nest humidity will do just fine when keeping them as your pets. However, the one thing you should pay attention to is their housing. This species is naturally nesting in stone, so ideally you should provide them a formicarium made out of udonk, also called AAC or hibel, or concrete to cover for their needs. If you cannot afford to buy an ant farm for them, then you can always have a look at the build tutorial section of our channel, where I show you how to make your own ant nests with very simple materials and minimum investment. I house our little colony you've seen throughout the video in a self-made all-in-one cavern-like ant farm. With all-in-one, I mean that in this formicarium they have both a nesting space and a foraging area. Okay, I hope this video was informative and helped you learn more about this lesser known Lasius emarginatus ant species. Make sure to share this video with other ant enthusiasts so it can help them out too. If you want to learn how I made that cavern ant farm, including the famous water tower, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel as the build tutorial on it will be coming soon. Like always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!